Assalamu alaikum, I am Wahid Ali and uh, today we will compare the cost, the costing of drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation and rain gun irrigation system and we will compare them and we will let you know that which one is more economical. So first of all, uh, we are going to discuss drip irrigation system. So if we go to my previous vlogs, I have already uh, have vlogs on this, on these uh, uh, designing and calculations of BUQ and costing. So you can get in detail from there. But here we will discuss it in uh, just in general. So in this field, this is one acre field and uh, you can see that I have an orchard these donuts black donuts are uh, for trees and there we have a round shape uh, drip line on which the online drippers are installed like this like this right so then this is built in and these are online or these are these can be installed from outside so we install here the drippers on every plant on every um, archer plant fruit plant so and these are our uh, laterals and this is our main line main line is 2 inch lateral is 16 mm uh, hdpe uh, blind pipe and the black one is the drip drip line with the drippers so according to uh, okay the second one is the sprinkler irrigation design this is also one acre same field and this field uh, we have uh, sprinkler we have selected maxiva and um, we you can see the circles its coverage everything is fine and uh, here we have one inch line and then we have 1.5 inch line the blue one and the magenta one is two inch pipeline and there are two hydro zone one wall is here one wall is here this is our quick coupler wall for uh, tap watering this is our pressure release wall that is our pump and uh, here we have a rain gun irrigation system we have two hydrants one is here the red one and one is at the bottom that is the red one and the rest the blue donuts these are our uh, spacing of the rain gun that where the rain gun will be uh, kept and how it will uh, and from where it will cover the area so these circles are showing you that when you will place it then how much area it will cover so this these are the best possible positions and uh, in this design we have a pressure release wall a pump and just a pipe in a loop shape and i already explained that we can go uh, from a hydrant to hydrant a straight line in that way we can save our five pipe but the problem will be that that uh, in ring and system if the system if the pipe is in loop that is better with the better uh, pressure and uh, there will be uh, minimum pressure loss so you will get a uh, good pressure at any point and uh, in this case there are only two hydrants but when you will design a big area then there will be several hydrants maybe nine ten like that so in that case uh, make it loop for for better uh, irrigation system for better performance and the rain gun that we select is was comet 163 that's a very good uh, rain gun and uh, these are our uh, total three um, uh, designs so now we are going to uh, our BUQs and so first of all I'm um, as we discussed drip system so here is my drip line BUQ so pipes and fittings and uh, the imported items uh, drip line and drippers and rich air clamp etc pressure release wall etc uh, that total cost me about hundred thousand that is the material cost then uh, the installation charges and the designing charges that should be put on it so that will become one like twenty two thousand rupees and if you want to have a water source there 
which is which will be a very small one because there is only 12 gallon per minute discharge is required for that one acre area so for one acre area you will need a four inch uh, dia board with a submersible pump not more than one horsepower and uh, that is another 40,000 so it means that it will cost you 162,000 rupees right so drip system is not uh, is done now we are going to sprinkler irrigation system so sprinkler irrigation system we have three different pipes one inch 1.5 and two inch dia and there are their quantities it is based on our design what we have here it was it the buq and the costing is on is there so then we have the fittings a long list of fittings that is costing you 12000 rupees then we have imported items in which sprinklers and uh, other things are uh, there that is that is costing you 120000 rupees and then you have local market items pressure release wall blade etc that is 15000 rupees and uh, trenching etc and that the total amount is 237000 of material etc now i put there a 5% contingency because the price is is going up and down so that is that will become 249 then you have to put labor and design charges that will become 36000 rupees so i have there 36 sprinklers so per sprinkler cost is mine 8055 let me let me tell you one thing nowadays in market if you go to a irrigation company and you will ask them that i, I need uh my sprinkler irrigation system at my home my lawn or my in my field or in, in my uh, for my crop field and anything for anything they will uh, give you the costing not like this what i have done they will never give you the detail buq right otherwise you will go to market and you will ask that sir what is the price of one inch pipe uh, class e and they will tell you oh it's 35 and may he may be quoted 45 so they will never give you detailed buq like this they will give you a lump sum buq they will they will give you that we will install you a sprinkler with pipes fittings labor and design charges and it will cost you 8000 or 9000 or 10000 per sprinkler how much sprinkler will be there it depends upon design so when they will design they will design the system very congested here i have 100 percent overlap maybe they will close them more or maybe they will reduce the circles they will reduce the circle in design and they will insert more sprinkler end so it i have 36 in my one acre area maybe they will give you 50 uh, per acre area and they will charge you they will charge you here not 8000 rupees they will charge you maybe 10000 rupees right so that is the figure which you should keep in mind in case of sprinkler that how much a sprinkler irrigation system will cost me so three lakh six thousand is your uh, costing and uh, its water source as we have discussed last time in detail also so 5.5 uh, horsepower a pumping unit is required and that is a vertical drilling uh, casing pipe with filters and uh, nut bolts etc pvc jointing solution etc column pipe or discharge pipe no return wall pressure release wall installation transportation uh, pump with motor submersible uh, cable three core and uh, a motor control unit that is costing you three like eighty seven thousand extra so you can see now three eighty seven is here three eighty seven and uh, three hundred and six is here so it becomes almost seven right not seven exactly but seven ninety two almost uh, six ninety two almost so six lakh rupees uh, about seven lakh rupees that is costing you now we are going to run an irrigation system that how it will cost us so there is two inch line uh, it is costing you 56,000 then you have fittings that is 4,000 rupees and then you have imported item 93,000 rupees and local items uh, 415 rupees 
and uh, trenchings and total with contingency is 174000 rupees labor and design charges will cost you to another um, 35 and it will become 2,9000 rupees so 2,9000 rupees and it will require the same pump that is required for the uh, ring gun so that will become no 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 as this discharge uh, for this ring gun is about 55 and its pressure requirement was also high so you will go to 7.5 horsepower so 7.5 horsepower the rest of everything is same only the pumping unit and the cable and the motor control unit is changed so that is costing you 4 lakh 19,000 rupees so 4 lakh 19,000 rupees plus 209 so 4 lakh 19,000 rupees plus uh, this plus this that is costing you 6 lakh 28,000 rupees so 6 lakh 28,000 rupees compared to 6 lakh 92,000 rupees in sprinkler right and then you have a drip system that is costing you 1 lakh 60 62,000 rupees including both so now you can see that which one is more economical keep in mind one thing that when you are have you you are interested in sprinkler and in rain gun both in it it is it is it, that one at three like eighty seven thousand rupees that was costing you six like six ninety three here and here six twenty eight right so when you are going to select in between rain gun and sprinkler then you should go to sprinkler that is that is what i prefer multi reasons number one labor when you are operating a rain gun irrigation then you need one labor dedicatedly dedicated to their area he will be there he will be there moving the rain gun from point to point and he can't leave the field either for three hours either for four hours either for eight hours but the labor is there all the day on irrigation day right while in sprinkler there are two hydro zones he will come he will operate the um, pump he will open one valve will be open and that area will be irrigated for 30 minutes and the next area will be irrigated for 30 minutes and within one hour he is free while here he will operate the rain gun at each point for 30 minutes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 11 multiply by 30 right so 330 minutes he will be there so it becomes almost uh, five and a half hours so you should compare it that what is my labor charges simply you have a drip system so in drip system a person will come in he will open the uh, walls and he will open the pump and in next one hour your, your irrigation is done go home bye bye you don't you don't uh, need to be there for hours so be careful in selection with sprinkler and rain gun and number uh, second thing in between the sprinkler and rain gun the the pipe the hose pipe that you will use with your rain gun with reel that is more laborious job you have to carry it on daily basis from here to there number two wear tear it will uh, almost one year not more than that after one year you have to replace your uh, pipe hose pipe and uh, your rain gun after two years it will be expired you have to bring a new one so that is the other things and uh, one thing with the rain gun pipe is that that uh, rudents all the rudents they like it and they like chew it so they will when you will come to field early in the morning you will see that oh it is it is damaged by rudents so be careful in selection of rengen system 
sprinkler system you may have a, a sprinkler damage after a year although um, these sprinklers are, uh, have warranty of 5 years so don't worry about that so for 5 years though they are maintenance free almost but uh, let's suppose a company is saying that oh it's okay i will give you 5 years warranty for the sprinkler but you have to uh, pay its cargo charges so cargo charges to to take the sprinkler from pakistan to united states that's costing you more than a sprinkler so be careful in that area when they are saying you i will give you warranty so ask them that which type of warranty you are giving me so be careful these irrigation companies nowadays they are very smart they will ne- not tell you everything otherwise uh, their business will be in danger they can't they can't give you all things so be careful when you are selecting the sprinkler and the irrigation type so that depends upon you that uh, which one you are preferring so everything is clear that is costing you uh, 1 lakh 60 thousand this one is costing you 6 lakh 92 thousand rupees and this one is costing you 6 lakh 23 thousand rupees with taxes so thank you for listening and watching please like our video and subscribe it if you like it thank you allah is for more videos please subscribe our channel thank you